Hello, pouring art people. So I decided I am going to try those same colors I did in my last video again. So not the exact same colors, but I am going to use those three primary elements colors. So let me get you down. So get that out of the way. So for those of you who didn't watch my last video, the colors I'm using are Pineapple Crush, Haynes Gray, these are both primary elements by Color Art, Hot Cinnamon, last primary elements color, but I've got one more Color Art. This one is a prism pour and oh my gosh why have i just forgotten what it's called abalone shell now i don't know if you can see the sparkle or not so along with those i have The Axazine Purple. This is Phthalo Green mixed with, these are all Liquitex. Phthalo Green, Cerulean Blue, and um, Brilliant Blue. As the phthalo green, so gorgeous, but I wanted a little bit more blue to it. And the main reason I decided to add the blue green was because of the pineapple crush. I thought it would look good. And then, I don't know why I'm showing you this, but titanium white by Amsterdam. So, let's start laying down colors. And we'll see where we end up. And I think I'm going to start with this blue green mix. And I don't know why I'm putting such a weird pattern. Probably going to regret that. And then. Let's put this abalone shell down next. I'm trying to make sure I get enough color down. Because that's been one of my challenges with this type of pour. Then let's do let's do the pineapple crush. It is such a, a pretty bright yellow gold. I just, mm, it's just a very pretty color. Um, then we'll do the dioxazine purple. Don't ask me why I'm dripping with weird.
And then we're going to do the hot cinnamon. almost a catastrophe. And we're going to do a little bit of white. I'm going to put down the Payne's Gray. I'm going to do another little drizzle of white over the top of it. Hoping it creates some cells for me. But I'm going to do it thin just like the first one because I don't don't want the white too heavy. I'm already worried about putting the white twice, but I just feel like white is at its best when it's on top. Okay. And yeah, I dribbled in several places, but I think it'll be okay. I think it'll add character. I am going to try the baby blow dryer. Okay, so this is way more spread out than I wanted it to be. And it's not as good as it could have been because the little blow dryer quit. And the big, oh, and you're zoomed in too far. Sorry about that. The little blow dryer is a dud, apparently. And the big blow dryer my husband and I were out here moving things around this morning or this afternoon my blow dryer around and I didn't pay attention and the concentrator is misplaced somewhere so I didn't want to hold things up and hold things up so I tried it without the concentrator and so I learned two things number one it can be done with the concentrator without it But, and I already really knew this without trying it the other way, it works much better with it. So, 
So there's not much background left on this. But you know what? I'm kind of okay with that. Would have liked a little less blending over on this side. But it looks pretty darn gone cool. That's my torch falling over. Believe it or not, which if you know me, it would be hard to believe. I had nothing to do with that. It just spontaneously fell over. Okay, I think that'll work. I'm gonna get these gloves off, get my phone out, and get you close. Fabulous bright colors. Look at that. That hot cinnamon, the Payne's gray there, the pineapple crush, a little bit of the dioxazine purple. Like it makes the hot cinnamon make kind of a hot pink. I mean, yeah, for the blowout not going how I wanted it to, this really turned out cool. Still want to find my concentrator, but I did learn something. I do need to have my dryer pointed little bit more at a downward angle and I figured that out towards the end of this piece. I actually figured it out from the last piece but I didn't realize how I was tilting it. I gotta be more conscious of that. And when I realized it I changed how I was doing a nice little bit of lacing action in the middle from the white. And this backed out piece isn't very, here, there we go. There's a better backed out view. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for having patience with me as I learn how to do these Dutch pours with the hair dryer. I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. I will post my recipe mix in my description below. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Hit that notification bell if you'd like to be notified when my videos come out on Fridays. And I will catch you later.